I was beginning to feel like the only person in the world who thought it sucked. Oh. You are the only person in the world who thought it sucked. <laughs> but you're right, it didn't make sense. It made dollars. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like usual, when a series ends, it looks like it's time for a freaking review, and it's time to review Supergirl. Of course, it was last night, but sadly, since Gotham was on, it the battle continues of which one you watch now. It's like, if I would have ditched Gotham, guess what? I would have missed Mr. Freeze killing his first person as Mr. Freeze, and holy frick, he got bulletproof. He got a bulletproof vest on or played it. Yeah, he got a breastplate that actually blocks freaking bullets. Holy freaking damn crap. He is on the rise now. Yeah, he is freaking rampant. Holy sheezle. <laughs> anyways, anyways, we're talking about Supergirl and Supergirl, the series was technically good. It was very, very good. I have no doubt or anything of saying it's a bad one or you shouldn't watch it. It was actually good. It was very decent. I mean, it started out with Supergirl learning. Well, actually not learning. It was basically Supergirl. She's been hiding all these years, but she decided to actually do something after an unbelievable disaster happens and her cousin wasn't around. So after that, she decided to actually become Supergirl. And you had a guy who actually turned out to be Toymaker's son. I know spoilers, but... Yeah, Toymaker's son actually helped her with her uniform or costume, whatever you want to call it. So he helped her with that, and, well, she was on the rise. And, of course, you got Cat Grant, which is kind of funny now because Young Justice was, isn't on anymore. So if Young Justice was still on today, I would actually realize, holy frick, Cat Grant was in Young Justice, and she's now in the Supergirl TV show which, of course, in Young Justice, she was young as frick. And in Supergirl, she's a bit more natured, I would say. Yeah, she, yeah, time wasn't too kind to her. So, do I mind that? Not really. I mean, I would prefer she actually is that character than Row! every single episode. <laughs> like, frick, man, I don't want to see that. Anyways, Kara actually excelled during her normal life and she became the assistant of Cat Grant. And let's see. Let's see anything else. Oh yeah, Red Tornado was in the series. Holy frick, but he was as a bad guy. He didn't actually convert to a good guy. And then we got Martian Manhunter and that was an awesome way how they actually dealt with him. That was cool and awesome. I have to give him a thumbs up on that one. Uh, you do have Silver Banshee, and how she came about, that was also interesting and cool. That was awesome how they did that. And you have Livewire that showed up, you have Indigo, and Sight. No, Indigo is the same girl who actually plays Supergirl in Smallville. Not only that, but she also is featured in Girls of Goosebumps. Definitely check out that series. <laughs> I know, that's an unbelievable plug. But yes, she was actually in Goosebumps even before any of the superhero stuff. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's see. You have Mike Lord, but I have no idea who Mike Lord is. Sadly, when it comes to watching TV shows, I bet comics... Yeah, Mike Lord is something, but in TV show wise, Mike Lord was never actually pushed to the point of where it's like, holy frick, he's a bad head honcho. You should definitely know who he is. Like, for instance, Kingpin. You know, Kingpin is someone ever since you watch Spider Man animated series, and then it continues on to the point of where you need to know who Kingpin is, and you do. Hopefully, you do. If you don't, you're an idiot. <laughs> uh. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else to actually talk about, but the series, I say it was good. I say it's very decent. Hopefully, they'll go for season two right now as I'm recording this. There is no season two that has been promoted, but I will have to say when it comes to ending it, wow. I mean, there was just lots of crazy stuff that happened during the beginning of it and the end of it. And then as soon as the ending came, that was when it was like, wow, this yeah, so they already made it peril to the world. And of course, Superman was actually kind of present. You actually had 
Superman saving Carol that one time. And he said, and they usually text back and forth, which is kind of cute. And then you had Superman showing up like the episode before the finale. And he was like, Superman's coming. And he went down to the ground. And now he's a slave to freaking damn the, the other Kryptonians <laughs> you know, for no end. <laughs> indigo that was kind of funny i was like superman's coming oh freak they found a way how to actually make it so that they didn't actually have to cast for a superman <laughs> oh man it's like i don't see the problem is if you actually put the superman in the man of steel in there it's like i don't see how that's truly horrible or heck oh yeah you can't get brian roth i mean brandon roth because he's in yeah, Legends of Tomorrow, and then I think Tom Welling's not doing anything anymore, so you could get Tom Welling, it's like, that would have been cool, you know, that would have been cool, but of course, yeah, you know, that would kind of screw over Smallville in a way, whatever, whatever, and then at the end, they actually text back and forth, and that was kind of cute, so they did an awesome trick there, where they're like, yeah, we don't really have Superman rights, I bet. They don't have Superman rights, and if so, whatever. But yeah, it is something to make sure that they're like, yes, we are able to find a loophole to make it so that Superman is in the universe, but we don't have to cast him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so here's, I'm just going to lay out the things that we still have that is kind of loopholes, plot holes, or things that needs to be filled. And no, she didn't say that. Yeah, it's like, no, that's not what she said. But anyways, so the first thing we need to know is what the hell was in that freaking ship? Because at the end of the episode, it was like, oh, look, there's a fireball. Oh, it landed. Oh, it's a ship. Oh, who is there? And she's like, oh, my gosh. So it's like, we have no idea who's in the ship. So that's going to be something for season two. Other thing for season two is Jeremiah Danvers. It turns out that he is freaking damn alive. I know spoilers, but yes, he's a freaking damn alive. And it turns out Cadmus, which for people who don't know what Cadmus is, just watch freaking Young Justice, the first three episodes. That'll catch you up on what's Cadmus. And yeah, that's like a good thumbs up. <laughs> I just hope that they don't actually go crazy enough to say, oh, oh, Jeremiah. Oh, well, guess what we did to him? He's now Blockbuster. It's like, oh, damn, you turned him into a freaky damn monster, you bastards. <laughs> Uh, let's see anything else. That's about all of that there is to really talk about. It's just those two. There might be a little bit more, but yeah, that's about it. And of course, yes, Flash. If you didn't see the episode before, I mean the video before it, I did uh, episode review on it. Flash actually did make an appearance, and yeah, he made an appearance. It was a good idea. They did a cool way of how he actually showed up. <clears throat> The thing is, is that I don't think, like, for instance, right now we're in a hiatus on The Flash, but he's coming back tonight. I think in between this hiatus, I think Supergirl did happen. That's when the Supergirl episode happened, was between the hiatus to the episode that's going to show up tonight and the one that was previous. I think that is where it actually happened, hopefully. As for CBS and NBC, I'm going to talk about both of them. If CBS actually cancels Supergirl, it's kind of crap. Especially the fact that they allow the build up to where it's like, yeah, I mean, there's a freak. Yeah, it's like, it's a make sure they did left the calling card. So just in case they're like, but we have to show season two. We have two things that we got to tell them. And if they cancel, it's like, oh, that sucks. And, of course, NBC is involved because they had Constantine and they didn't take good care of it. So the only thing I have to say is for them to really keep the series alive is to make sure you listen to the fans. That's the thing that really, really, really is very important when it comes to shows like this is listen to the fans. That's what Sony did, even though Sony got screwed over. Fox didn't listen to the fans. Even though the, you're listening to the fans, well, actually, I don't even know. I don't know what those. The fans are just stupid when it comes to Fantastic Four. Spider-Man, they did a great job. Why didn't you re do what you did with freaking damn Spider-Man? Yeah, <laughs> whatever, whatever. But 
I would say the person who they cast as Supergirl is okay. Yeah, I'm not going to say, oh, the girl is Supergirl. She sucks. She looks ugly and everything. They're like, no, no, no. They did a decent job. She's fine. She's fine. I just would hope that Power Girl, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Power Girl, oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah, they do have Bizarro Supergirl. They did have her, so who knows? Maybe she'll return. If not, it's all good. But anyways, this series, watch it, don't watch it. Well, right now it's a watch-a-thon. I'm not sure if it's in there or not. But if it's in there, then I would tell you to watch it because it was a good show. And for those who actually watch The Flash, it's a good idea just in case to watch this show, this episode. <clears throat> because if you watch the episode... I mean, if you ditch the episode and say, I'm not going to watch it, then what if long down the road, you're going to be like, oh, frick, he made a line that actually involves Supergirl. Then what the frick happened over there is like, yeah, you need to see it so you know what exactly happened. Like, for instance, we got a nice little winkity wink wink that he would actually use the tech. I forgot what it is, but freaking damn reverse flash, that device he used to go faster. Well, Barry was wearing one of those. So that means that if you didn't know, he was actually wearing one of those. But anyways, thank you for watching. And yeah, the series is definitely watch. I mean, it's not going to be like a big thumbs up. Watch, 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 watch like Daredevil or well, Jessica Jones. My gosh. I mean, it's a watch, but freaking damn. It's like watch at your own risk. This one is just a decent watch. It's like, yeah, you can watch it. It's good. It's decent. But, yeah, it's like, if it goes toe-to-toe with Jessica Jones, I would say, yeah, this one's a safer bet than Jessica Jones. Let's be invisible. A horror to mankind. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to anyone out there who loved that religion or whatever. I mean, belief or lifestyle. 